Hello guys and welcome back to coding the Conway's Game of Life in Ruby. In the previous video we have started to code our GOSO file and as you recall we have defined a gaming window uh, which whose size is 800 by 600 which is not a full screen and with a title or game of life. So now when we run our, our game we get this beautiful window uh, with our specifications that we set. Um, let us take this one step further and let us code code the GOSA file a bit more. Let us start uh, with removing this little nuance that you notice when you try to mouse over the the black portion of a window. You see that the mouse po pointer disappears. So now let us remove that and the way you remove that uh, within a GOSU is you just define a method called needs cursor question mark and then you say true and now when you run your goes to game of life you see that a mouse is visible when you mouse over it so um, that's a small victory but the victory nonetheless so now that we have this let us think about what we should do next um, let us say we Let's start off by by making the background uh, sort of light gray color. Okay, that will get the ball the ball rolling. Before that, let me just explain briefly what these two two methods do. Okay, so as you recall, the the class game of life window which inherits from Gosu window class needs to have these three methods okay it can have more but it absolutely needs to have these three the first one is initialize which we uh, which you are already familiar with it's the same as with every other ruby class and there are these two additional called update and draw and what these two does what update specifically does is it updates your your game 60 times per second Okay, and it contains all the gaming logic. So, for example, when you when you if you, if we would let's say build a game, uh, which is a simple like two two D two D Mario platformer, okay, Super Mario platformer, and this when you would press the up key, um, you know you would you would order Mario to jump, and that logic would be contained here as with uh, all the other logic okay the only difference is we won't have our logic uh, here because we have all our lo gaming logic within this main file okay so this is a small difference uh, let me just split the windows here so you can see it clearly so uh, all our game logic is going to be here and this update action is going to be very very brief in our case and uh, let's move on to this draw method what this draw method does is 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 the, it says um, the gosu gaming library how to like give give color and give let's say clothes to these bones to these bare logical bones that we have here so uh, within this draw method you would have something like um, let's give Mario a red hat let's give him white gloves let's give give him brown shoes and and that sort of stuff okay let's give him a, a blue background and and all that kind of kind of kind of things okay all the logic is still going to be contained elsewhere uh, it's just that this draw method gives it color okay and visual representation okay so so now hopefully understand that uh, let us begin by 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 as we said uh, building a background and the way uh, the the goes to gaming library goes around building background is that it it's uh, let me just show you here real quick uh, the way you define background is that you just um, build a rectangle uh, which is which has its corners in the corners of the window okay so fairly simple idea but let us implement it uh, the way you draw draw rectangulars rectangular shapes in in gosu is you just uh, call a method called draw quad 
Okay, and then you provide the coordinates and the colors of the of the spots defining a, a quad. Okay, so first off, let us see what our first first uh, spot is. Our first spot or point is right uh, is a point in the far up left corner of our screen. So the coordinates for that are zero zero. Okay. And the third argument which we have to provide the the point with is a color of that point. Okay, so we're going to uh, store that color in a variable called. Since we are doing a background, let us call that um, color background color. Okay, and uh, let us just um, define that background color in our initialize uh, method. Let's just comment this with a color so we are uh, a bit more organized. And now let's say a background color is going to be equal goes to color new. That is just a syntax for for uh, making color in Gosu. And the color is going to be, let's say, a, a light gray as we have said. So now that we have specified this, let us specify uh, the three remaining um, the three remaining uh, dots. Uh, the second dot is the one here on the far right, on the top right of our screen. And the coordinate for that uh, point is, in our case, 800. Okay? No, sorry, it is 600 because first coordinate is x, I apologize. So the first coordinate should be 600, the second is the height, so it is 0, and the third, as you recall, is background color. Before I move on to the third spot, I would just like to point out uh, that this isn't good code and the reason being is because it isn't flexible. And let me explain why. We have specified here that the the second spot is on a coordinate 600. But if we change the dimensions of our gaming window, this won't uh, create the background as we intended it. So, so a good way to, to go about this is to store these these values 800 and 600 in a variable which you can call later on and each time you change the d dimensions of a window all uh, the value of that variable will change and you will uh, have a lot more maintainable and 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 better code so so the way we we do this is within this initialize method uh, we call height and we just specify 800 and we define width and we just let's specify it with 600 and now instead of these 800 and 600 which are hard-coded numbers let us just write the height and the width and we have to make them accessible via, via these instance uh, variables Okay, so now that we have completed this, uh, we just uh, have to have to write is instead of this 600 the width. Okay, so as you can see, this is much more flexible because when we change this to uh, 1800, for example, all our other val values are correctly changed, so to speak. Okay, so let us just remove this. To back to 800 and let's proceed by coding the third uh, spot of our background and the coordinates are of that spot are with it is the it is a dot in the bottom right corner of the screen so the coordinates are corresponding to width and height okay and the color is the same it is the background ground color okay and the fourth and final one is the one in the uh, uh, bottom left 
and coordinates are uh, zero in height and color is background color. So now that we have all that, let us run our Ruby goes to game of life thingy and we see that we have mistaken something. We have an invalid null reference for type goes to color and um, I don't know what went wrong here but let me check check real quick um, so I think that we have defined this goes to color properly uh, let me just check whether the coordinates here are good just a second okay so the thing which uh, was causing the error was this little typo here uh, I have made I have forgotten the n letter here within this variable called background color I apologize so now when we run our Ruby goes to game of life we get this nice window with a light gray whitish color okay which is our background which is awesome because that's exactly what we wanted uh, in our next video we are um, going to start um, importing the logic from our main file uh, uh, into our, our Gosu file and just like uh, connect begin to connect the dots between these two files and begin to create uh, what what is going to be the final um, visualization of our game. So hold tight and see you in the next video.